Hello everybody, Fuzz here and welcome to my new Diablo 3 video and this is a how to guide on how to access Whimsyshire. Whimsyshire of course is the new easter egg that Blizzard have put in, the amazing, the awe inspiring, the beautiful, the downright stupid uh, secret level that is basically the new cow level for the game, the original cow level of course uh, being in Diablo 2. So there's no cows here, instead there's something much worse which you'll see later. But for now I would uh, like to give you the step by step instructions on how you can unlock this level yourself on your account to play it uh, at your leisure. So there's a few steps we need to do and they are as follows. So there's all eight steps which need to be completed, hopefully when this video is up they will be annotated, which means you should just be able to click on them if you wish to see a particular part of the video. Now as a prerequisite you won't require access to any difficulty higher than normal in order to complete this guide, but you will need access to the full uh, difficulty of normal, so all the way up to and including Act 4. So the main goal of course is that we want to create the Staff of Herding which our blacksmith will create for us once we have the plans for the Staff of Herding along with the other uh, ingredients. So when you're ready, fire up Diablo 3 and we will begin with Step 1 which our aim is to acquire the Black Mushroom and for this we will need to enter Act 1. So the Black Mushroom has a chance to spawn in the first level of the Cathedral, so Cathedral Level 1. Uh, make sure you choose a quest where you can access the Cathedral Garden, which is, I think, the closest waypoint. And it always appears in that room which you saw on the map. The room itself can actually appear uh, anywhere on the map. It is random, but it is that square room with the, two ex uh, with the entrance and the exit. Uh, if the room isn't there, the Mushroom isn't there. And once you find the mushroom, you can just loot it and you get a little bit of dialogue off your character. And that is all there is to it. I had to do it about, uh, go to the cathedral level one about three or four times before I found it spawn. But now that brings us to the end of step one. Now staying in act one, the second item on our agenda is Leoric's Shimbone. And in order to access this, you're going to want to start the Imprisoned Angel quest from the menu and find Leoric's Manor. There's a waypoint that will take you right there. And this map's pretty static actually, so every time you need to rerun the instance, in order, uh, the instance, the dungeon, in order to find the item, it'll be in the same place. Now what we're actually looking for is a fireplace, which is, as you'll see on my map, just down here, away from the waypoint. It's not far at all. And if you do have to uh, reload because it wasn't there, it didn't spawn, then just leave the game and when you click resume it will put you at the checkpoint at the start and you see this fireplace here, that's where the item will be. But the trick to see if the item's there is if there's logs. There wasn't that time, there is this time. That means the item we need will now spawn. There it is, Leoric Shinbone. It took me again about four or five attempts in order to get that fireplace to spawn the item. But once you've got it, you've got it for good. So that is the end of step two. And now the third item on our list is the liquid rainbow. So for this we need to go to act two and you need to use the path to the oasis waypoint. A bit like the last item, this is a static map. So if you run out of luck and don't get what you need, then it will just be the same and you come back. But only the first part. The reason I say that is we actually need a merchant here. And he wasn't there that time. He is this time. Once he's there in this little bit of the map, speak to him and he will open the dungeon we need access to. It took me about seven attempts before I could find that merchant. Fortunately, it is only a short walk from the waypoint, so it wasn't that big of a deal. Now this is a multi-leveled cave, although the item which spawns in the mysterious chest appears on level 1. Unfortunately the mysterious chest isn't a guaranteed uh, thing. It's probably the most annoying item so far since you need both the merchant and the chest to spawn, which are both random. The good news is, if the chest spawns then it's guaranteed to have the item in it, which is the liquid rainbow. Then we can take that and store it safely in our stash, that's our third item. And that's the end of step 3. And we're really making progress now. 
So step four is a nice easy one for us and we need to acquire Wurtz Bell. This is an item that is purchased from a vendor and as far as I'm aware it is always available. You will need 100,000 gold unfortunately but uh, a little bit of farming with your gold fine gear on and that shouldn't be too hard to come by. And it's this girl vendor that we're after here, Squirt. And under miscellaneous you will see the Wurtz Bell. And best to get that now, if you have the money, save coming back to Act 2. Once again, I'm just going to stick that in my stash for safekeeping. It doesn't matter what character you create the staff on, by the way. You can use it uh, by any character. It's an account-bound item. And I said that was an easy step. We now have four items and are well on our way to accessing Whimsy Shire. So now step five, and we are after the gibbering gemstone. You want to reach the bridge of Korzik, uh, waypoint, and there's possibly two caves that can spawn. One is ice caverns, one is caverns of frost. You need the latter. If it's ice caverns, then restart your game. Only one can spawn. Once you've reached caverns of frost, you are looking for level two. Uh, it's a multi-leveled cave and we are then going to be looking for a unique mob so that's a mob with purple writing which doesn't always spawn unfortunately i had to do this about uh, three or four times in order to find the mob that's required so i'm on level two now and the mob you need actually just sort of jumps out the ground so make sure you run around and look everywhere If you're a little bit of a higher level, then of course you're going to do this quicker. You can just plow through everything at high speed. So it wasn't actually in this one, but here it is. On my next attempt, I think this was. And you can see the item has dropped for us. It's a white item, so don't miss it. The same as all of them, really. And I can go and keep that safely once again in my stash. And that is the end of step Five. Sometimes I think of the men. So finally we're going to need our blacksmith plans for the staff and they are dropped by Ituald, of course the fallen angel in Act 4 and the best way to access him uh, to farm him until he drops the item is as follows. So you want to select the primeval quest and then make your way to the last waypoint which should be the crystal colonnade. Once you're there you want to head to the gateway of the silver spire then head on through level 1 of the Silver Spire until you reach the Great Span and that is where you'll find Israel. You'll definitely want to be about level 30 before you start farming this guy and it will take a few attempts I'd imagine before you get the plans. I ended up getting them on my Barbarian uh, after about 7 or 8 attempts which isn't too bad although it does get a little bit frustrating uh, if you're not too high level you do have to farm through some areas in order to reach him. And of course he has a, uh, a chance to drop the plans once he dies. They are white items so just be careful not to miss them when you're looting. And that will be the final item that we need in order to access the secret level. And now that we have all five items plus the plans, we can go ahead and make the staff that we need. Of course, the blacksmith is the one who will craft the item for us. Although the first thing that we're going to need to do is teach him the new recipe we've just picked up off Isuel. You'll get an achievement if you haven't taught him any recipes before. And then your new staff will appear under weapons, obviously. And it will just be a crappy grey staff. It really only has one use, which is to open the secret level for us. And that's it, we have our item. And now we can finally move on to the last step and access the new secret cow level. That isn't, that isn't actually a cow level. So take your new staff to the ghost of the cow king, who can be found just to the side of the old ruins waypoint here in Act 1 and speak to him, he should have a quest enabled in order to finally access the new area. <clears throat> we see you have brought the item. That is good. We are utterly pleased. <laughs> oh God, you're a cow? What was in that health potion I drank back there? An 
and you are a stinking bag of flesh with no fur. Ah, <laughs> touche. Ah, this is no time to be silly. The level of sparkling happiness and rainbows awaits you. You mean, the cow level? No! There is no cow level. No. Ma! Uh, excuse me. Moo the lawn. And you now have access to the normal version of the secret dungeon. And if you want to access the Nightmare, Hell and Inferno version, don't worry, you don't have to farm everything again. In fact, all you have to do is make sure you have, you're on the quest to kill Diablo uh, on your respective difficulty. And then if you go to Gorel the Quartermaster, who is a, an NPC, a merchant, you can actually buy the upgrade recipe. And you will just need one gold to purchase the recipe along with the previous version of the staff from the lower difficulty. So you'll need the normal staff which you've just got in order to upgrade it for Nightmare. And then when you're in Hell you'll need the Nightmare staff and so on. Uh, you do have to have a lot of gold though to craft the upgraded version from the blacksmith. I believe it's 200,000 gold to craft the Nightmare version of the staff, 500,000 gold to craft the Hell version, and finally 1 million gold to upgrade it to the Inferno version. Although once you've upgraded it, then it can be used for previous difficulties as well, so you don't lose the ability to open up in any difficulty you, you no longer really play that much. And you have the staff for life, so long as you don't do something stupid like get rid of it. And it is bind to account, so you can use it from any character. Well, I hope this video has been helpful to you guys, and I hope that uh, I've encouraged at least a few of you to go and actually farm this item for yourselves, and maybe then you can join me in Windsorshire. Or maybe not, I'll leave that up to you. Uh, anyway, thank you very much for joining me. I've been Fuzzfinger, and I'll see you next time. It is too low. <laughs> 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 <laughs>